Hello students, welcome to today's class. Um, in today's session, we'll be looking at this biology question. Which of the following organisms is chemoautotroph? Which of the following organisms is chemoautotroph? A. Virus B. Bacteria C. Paramecium and D. Euglena Okay, so um, please, as a jambrite or as a student who is willing to take jam white or nickel um this is very important for you please just listen to this it is very good for you to study past questions okay it is very good to study past question but most times you need to understand what you're studying it's not about studying past questions it's about the understanding do you have understanding like do you have an in-depth understanding of what you're studying because most cases, Jump would repeat this question the way you can see it here, the way you are seeing it. It's not possible for Jump to repeat it this way. They will definitely change it. They will reform it. Okay? So, now they say, which of the following organisms is chemoautotroph? Next year, they may say, which of the following organisms is photoautotroph? Okay? And if you only know the one of chemoautotroph to be this, this, or that, then how about photoautotroph? So that is why these classes are very important for you, okay? If you're not following me, make sure you're following me. And if you are not in our WhatsApp group, make sure you comment link in the comment section so that I can drop the link to our WhatsApp group so that you can join and have access to our free classes, okay? Now, which of the following organisms is chemototroph? For you to understand or for you to get this question correctly, you need a um, basic understanding in the mode of nutrition we have, okay? We have autotrophic mode of nutrition, autotrophic mode of nutrition, and heterotrophic, and heterotrophic mode of nutrition, mode of mode of nutrition okay so autotrophic mode of nutrition are organisms that manufacture their food okay it's mode of uh, sorry it is the mode of nutrition whereby organisms manufacture their food do you understand but heterotrophic mode of nutrition is a mode of nutrition whereby organisms cannot manufacture their food do you understand they depend on autotrophs like they depend on those organisms that can manufacture their food for them to take in their own food I hope you understand that. But as far as this question is concerned, what we have business with is autotrophic mode of nutrition. We don't have any business to do with heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Do we understand? So let's erase heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Maybe when we get to nutrition, we're going to understand it better. Okay? Now let's deal with autotrophic mode of nutrition. We have two forms of autotrophic mode of nutrition. We have photosynthesis or photoautotrophic you either call it photosynthesis or you call it photoautotrophic do you understand then we have chemosynthesis chemosynthesis or chemoautotrophic chemoautotroph do you understand you either call it chemosynthesis or chemoautotroph okay Please, it should be noted that photosynthesis can also be called holophytic. Take note of that, please. Very important. Jam do use holophytic. Most times, they won't use photosynthesis because they know that most students are familiar with photosynthesis, but they are not familiar with holophytic, okay? Most cases, they will use holophytic. Take note of that, okay? Now, chemosynthesis. The question says that which of the following organisms is chemoautotroph? This is what he's talking about, not this, okay? Now, note, photosynthesis, the word synthesis here means production, okay? Photo means light. Do you understand? Like, organisms that use light to manufacture their food, that is what photosynthesis is all about. Organisms that uses what? That use light to manufacture their food. They use light to manufacture their food, okay? For this, chemo, chemo means chemical. Okay, so they use chemical to manufacture their food. Do we understand? Photo use light. Why chemo use chemical? 
Okay, there are organisms that are photosynthetic and there are organisms that are photosynthetic. Do we understand? Now, the question is asking us, which of the organisms that uses chemical to manufacture its food, not light, because it says chemo autotroph. Do we understand? Now, our business is... Here is our business, chemosynthesis. Okay, so organisms that use chemical to manufacture their food. Now, option A says virus. Is virus chemosynthetic? Is virus even autotrophic or heterotrophic? Please, virus is not autotrophic. Okay, as a matter of fact, virus can be considered as a living thing and it can also be considered as a non living thing. Okay. Virus can only be classified as a living thing when it is inside its host. Do you understand? But when it's outside its host, it's a non-living thing. It crystallizes and becomes a non-living thing. Okay? But when it's inside of a host, okay, it becomes a living thing. Do we understand? Outside the host, it cannot reproduce. Virus cannot replicate outside a host. But when it's inside of a host, it replicates itself as a living do we understand but take note it is never autotroph it is not an autotrophic organism okay so it is completely out virus is completely out okay now let's look at bacteria are bacteria chemosynthetic or are they autotrophic or heterotrophic okay but for now let's leave bacteria let's come to euglena okay euglena are protist okay they belong to kingdom protista okay mind you in kingdom protista kingdom protista kingdom protista we have protophyta protophyta and protozoa and what protozoa this um phylum this phylum shows plant-like features okay plant-like plant-like that is why they said proto fighter okay this proto here the word proto here it shows that it belongs to protista okay the fighter here means plant so it shows plant-like okay like it has plant-like features that is why they call them proto fighter then here the same proto, it means it belongs to a protista, then zoa. Zoa means animal. That is where we have zoology. Zoologist. Okay? I hope we understand. <laughs> that is where we have zoological names. Just like botanical names. We also have zoological names. Okay? So it means they are animal-like. Okay? Animal-like. So, Euglena falls here. Euglena has... No, sorry. Euglena has both plant-like and animal-like features, okay? They have both plant-like and animal-like features. In Protophyta, we have, we have Chlamydomonas, okay? We have Chlamydomonas. Here we have Amoeba, we have Paramecium, okay? So, you see this Paramecium as option C. It falls under here. Paramecium. Paramecium is animal-like. It means it cannot manufacture its own food. It means it's not even an autotrophic organism. You understand? So it is heterotrophic organism since it cannot manufacture their own, its own food. So paramecium is also wrong. I hope you are following. Okay? So paramecium is also wrong because it cannot even manufacture its own food before we even classify it either photosynthetic or chemosynthetic. Do you understand? So paramecium falls under protozoa of kingdom protista which have animal-like features. Okay, but I said for Euglena, Euglena has both animal-like and plant-like features, okay? So Euglena has chloroplast, okay? It, it has chloroplast and chloroplast is a feature of plant. Do we understand? So it means Euglena can manufacture its food, okay? But now let's try to classify it. Is it chemosynthetic or photosynthetic? Is it chemosynthetic or photosynthetic? It has chlorophyll, okay? The chloroplast contains chemical called chlorophyll, which helps to trap sunlight for um, the manufacture of its own food, which is true photosynthesis, okay? So that means the euglena is photosynthetic organism.
do we understand it means it is photosynthetic organism not chemoautotroph it doesn't use chemical to manufacture its food rather it uses sunlight to manufacture its food it means this is also wrong okay now we're left with bacteria it means bacteria is the correct option yes we may not know why is bacteria well right now since option a is wrong option c is wrong option d is wrong it means option b is very correct now let's see it. if option b is actually correct let's try to let's prove it okay we have different kinds of bacteria okay we have different kinds of bacteria um with different mode of nutrition okay now let's look at their mode of nutrition bacteria <clears throat> one we have we have autotrophic bacteria and we have heterotrophic bacteria okay we have autotrophic bacteria and we have heterotrophic bacteria and the one um like the bacteria that is autotrophic bacteria you understand is actually chemoautotroph okay some of them are chemosynthetic chemosynthetic some are chemosynthetic some are saprophytic saprophytic and some are parasitic parasitic do we understand so the ones that are chemosynthetic actually use chemical to manufacture their food okay they use chemical to manufacture their food which is option b is correct okay now we have ones that are saprophytic all organisms that are saprophytic feed on dead decaying matter they feed on what dead decaying matter take note of that and they are heterotrophic not autotrophic heterotrophic please take note of that okay and most of them are parasitic okay we have bacteria like what led to um typhoid infection what led to gonorrhea infection they are all bacterial infection all these infections are bacteria they are inside you they are inside human and they eat off human flesh they feed on the nutrients humans are supposed to use that makes them parasitic do you understand so the ones that are also parasitic are heterotrophic do we get that since they cannot manufacture their food therefore they are heterotrophic do we understand i hope you understand please if you enjoyed this um class make sure you like this video um send share it with your friends share it with your colleagues let them learn they should learn from it too just the way you've learned okay thank you very much for watching and if you've not followed us try to follow us and also help to subscribe to our youtube channel if you are watching this from our youtube channel see you in our next class thank you